Welcome to Smart Questions. This is where, as a team, we take challenges that have come up from conversations we've had with clients in the last few days, and we explore some of the key salient points from it. It's not all about what the textbooks would say, and we won't necessarily come up with all of the whole range of solutions, but the idea is that we cover enough that there's at least a good takeaway that you can have that will help you to address that particular challenge or question that has come up. So we hope you find it useful. Welcome to another episode of Smart Questions, where we look at answering a question that's come up uh, from one of our clients that we might have been in a group session with or one-to-one -one session with uh, during the last week or two. I'm here with Granger Forson, who runs BizSmart in Gloucester. So, Granger, what, what question have we got today? So, the, the question uh, we've got today, Kevin, is all about networking. So, uh, is networking worth it? And what type of networking group should I join? All right, that's a really good question. I'm sure a lot of lot of people are. So, what do we what do we think? What do we think, Granger? What is is networking worth it? Um, well, I would actually say yes. I think networking is very worth it in terms of doing that. But it depends on what you want to get out of it, as as with anything. Um, so, you know, thinking about uh, your your clients, your customers, where you where they where they go, what they do. So, one place is going looking for the networking. Uh, events but from my experience of networking because I, I do a lot of networking to help my business grow and develop um, it, it's more about the networks connections that you make so it's the people you meet in the room and their connections it's the connections of the connections are the real powerful things that take place uh, and, and that's the real power of networking it's the finding those long-term long-distance connections that really unlock the potential uh, of networking to find those customers uh, and to make things successful for you. So it's not just about the people in the room, but it's the people that that they may know and be able, be able to introduce you to. So how do we how do we get over? You know, we hear a lot of people saying, "Oh yeah, I've tried tried a few networks and um, I haven't got anything from 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 that one." You know, I dipped in and out and all of those things. What 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 um, what what, you know, what would we say to them? Well, I, I would actually say visit loads of networks. Okay, okay. Um, because every networking um group it has a different style a different flavor um and some will suit you in terms of what you want to do and how they work and some some won't but you know going there and networking finding those uh, connections that are good for you in terms of doing that is is the real key thing and then building a long-term relationship by finding the network uh, or networking events that uh, that fit your style and what you want to do and achieve so you know be a visitor and be a visitor many times. Uh, some have rules of how many times you can visit, some yeah. don't. But, you know, and being a visitor will help you find and understand the network group and how it fits you. Absolutely. And and is it all about is it all about the business? Whether we get a referral specifically from somebody if we go to a networking meeting? No, the other real power of when you become a, um, a long-standing member in a, a networking group is building up that relationship with people. Um, because actually the real long-term networks that you then find, those connections to those long-term customers, et cetera, really come out of when you grow your relationship with people. So it, it helps you to develop um, a way of interacting with people, getting to know, like, and trust people, uh, and helping to sort of build uh, that confidence uh, that people know you and understand you so we'll refer you and think about you when they meet people that have the problems that your business solves for your customers and there's and there's, there's something that I think you may have said to me a while back um, but um, nobody goes networking to look for something to buy <laughs> no, absolutely yes yes so yeah. you have to you have to bear that in mind when when you're when you're going there's a there's a there's a room full of other people that are actually looking to hopefully sell you something in a in in, in a way they're not all there you know they're not really there looking to looking to buy so so how does that how does that um affect what how the way that we should approach things so when when you're when you're networking, yeah, the, the the role that you're playing is is to get to know somebody. It's say hello, introduce yourself. But the key thing always is to understand them. So networking is about understanding them, their needs, who, what they're up to, what they're doing in terms of their business, and then understanding how you can help or 
people that you know across your network in terms of referring to. So networking isn't really about you. It's about understanding your customers, understanding your customers' customers uh, and helping to see where things happen. So it actually develops your thinking about marketing. It helps develop your thinking about how you interact with your customers and, and going forward. So, yeah, it's, it's a very powerful way of actually developing your own thinking and business thinking around marketing. Yes, and, and understanding, keeping your finger on the pulse, understanding what's going on, and as you say, building those building those relationships. Um, so yeah, some some really really good things there. So are are we, and and are we saying therefore that actually really the goal of going to a networking is not to get a bit of business, but it's maybe to arrange a follow up conversation with individuals to further that relationship building absolutely that that's the real power of it it's building that long-term relationships with people and getting that interactions with people over time and that improves everything that you do yes and what do we think about things like single seat networking versus um versus open open networking again i would actually say you know try it and and find out what fits you best and um, you know there, there's lots of different ways um that the different networks work and it's finding the flavor that, that's right for you yeah you know single seat has a you know you, you can't get in there in terms of visit if it's already there where other networks that are open you can get more visits into in terms of doing things absolutely but it, it it's really a case of you know what do you want to do and achieve and by visiting do you like it great does that so so really like we should approach everything we should approach it with uh the with a mindset in mind about how do we do this well not just about let's just turn up and just 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 see what happens or equally just turn up and expect to get to get to get business from it we need to think about think it through carefully visit a load to find the right ones and um and then start to think about okay well how am i going to build those relationships with key people with it within that room rather than just pitch up and just see what happens absolutely brilliant and one last question do we think do we think that networking only works depending on what stage you are at your business whether you know maybe start up and small business or do we think it might work for larger businesses as well i i think it works for all sides of the business it, it's great when you're a little business um because you're growing because you'll meet lots of other people that will help with ideas and thoughts around your business I and mean, you can do the one-to-ones um, but, you know, if, if you're the, the, the sales manager or the marketing manager in a business actually getting out there into networks, you're then going to find a, a wider fish, to, your ponds to fish in and really understand what you can do and achieve. Um, so actually, I think it fits into any size of business. Excellent. Granger, thank you very much. Pleasure. Thanks, Kevin. I hope you found that useful and you've got at least one or two takeaways, things that you can do differently and implement within your business. If you enjoyed that, why not come along to our Scale Up Club? Just give us a bell. It's online. doesn't matter where you are. You can join us once a month. And why not think about getting a copy of my book, The Entrepreneurial Scale Up System, full of practical ideas and solutions to helping you on your scale up journey.